hi what's up guys so uh this is black cross and welcome back to my youtube channel so earlier today i had a live stream which we had conducted uh where i was showing people how you can actually trade gold uh today literally uh the reason why today trading gold was a bit easier is because today us was uh it was a holiday in the us so uh the market hasn't been really uh difficult to analyze today so uh the market started selling i remember entering this market around 18 20, 1926 sorry and then earlier i showed you how uh the simplest way that someone can you can learn how to take profits or when to enter the market uh when to get out of the market if you entered like let's say this was a sell position uh we took a sell around this point over here i came to this level went up came down to this level and then it went up to this level so what i did uh, i showed you you can use this strategy uh, whenever you want to know when to take your profit so here's what happens if you take your trend line and you come and put it around this zone over here you notice that uh, from the you see the this was like a sell so i was looking for uh, if i took a buy position around this area over here then i was supposed to get out around this zone over here and I, I maybe get out or uh yeah get out and take like a another sell position yeah so for sell position uh let me just use this line over here for sell position we use this one so you put it on the higher the highest point to the lowest point your previous high to your current lawyer which is, at that time it was this one so we did that and then we came over here when we started like uh, it's it started creating another cell so we put this trend line around this one over here and you can actually see like uh it was like it is measurable but then now uh when it came to like taking another buy position we noticed that this one was a bit smaller but if you're keen enough, you notice that around this zone over here, we've had some sort of resistance. And that's why you can see the blue line that has been drawn going this way. So how did they come about with, how did they come up with this line over here? So uh, this lane, uh, the reason why I came up, let me just delete these, these trend lines. I hope that everybody has grasped whatever that was, how. So that was like, the market was trending up until this zone over here and then we saw some kind of a pullback to this zone once the market got to this zone i could see like some sort of resistance the market trying to push going upward but it wasn't really succeeding so there was some sort of resistance around this zone over here so i decided to go to like uh let me just show you i decided to go to like four hours time frame so that uh Okay, so this is four hours man now i have a lot of lines sir. so in four hours time frame if you look at this line in the past if you go back this is uh 2020 2022 you could see like around this area there was some sort around this area there was some sort of resistance around here i don't know if i can just mark it with a brush around this zone over here there was some sort of resistance same to this zone and this level over here wait no we should be talking around this zone yeah this one 19 around 1920 yeah so if you go back this is not a bit clearer the way it should be if you go back you notice that around uh 1917 1920 there has been some sort of resistance around those kind of zones yeah so uh that's why i decided to put that as my point of resistance because i could see some sort of resistance along that same zone yeah and even if you if you don't go back like oh And even if you don't go back to if you don't go back to the previous 
to the previous years is to around this zone if you go back like to what was happening like last last week you'll notice like around this zone there was some sort of resistance if you stretch these uh, going backwards you'll notice some sort of resistance around this zone over here so that's how this became like my area of interest it was first my area of interest not actually uh, it was my supply or anything of the sort no it was my area of interest because i could see some sort of resistance resistance around this zone over here so uh, for me i saw that as an opportunity so what i was waiting for uh most people took a buy position around this a zone over here and i know that they most might have gotten scared because of this breakout this small breakout over here but then the market played out as we had planned remember we had analyzed earlier around that the market was going to the market was going to uh come to this level and then it will go down to this level and I remember telling you like the market is never so straight yeah so you don't expect something like a zigzag yeah just something just going straight to this level and coming back straight up uh, straight uh, away so uh, for market to come and hit this level it has to create some kind of a pattern and you can see like it played out so perfectly it came to this level over here and uh, where have this blue line over here this is one of the zones that is also interesting like there is some sort of also some resistance around this zone so that is why i love this one yeah so this one actually can confuse you on the kind of the like on the market moves literally but around this zone you can see uh when the market was coming it got to this point it went up went up again and then it came down to this level and then when it, when it came to this level you can see like there was this base that was created this market went up and then it came back to the same level and another candlestick was created there creating another sort of uh pattern from it yeah and you can see like around this zone even when the market was leaving from this zone to here you can see some sort of let me just see if I can draw like from here to here. Then the market like kind of consolidates a little before actually proceeding with the kind of movement coming downwards. And you can see like this one is also going up. And once it gets here, there is some sort of push going downwards. So this is also one of the zones where there is a lot of push or a lot of competition in the market. The buyers and the sellers trying to get a good position or maybe to conquer the movement yeah so uh so this is how we got uh to analyze our charts today and i think we made profits yeah those who entered the market when it was around this zone over here i know that you made your profit because this was our target zone uh, where we will like take our profits if you took like a sell position around this zone over here then I know you made your profit if you took a buy position you might wait maybe uh, a little longer or if the market is going to come down I hope that you're moving with the stop loss as I always tell you always move with the stop loss so just in case you're not you're not uh, watching the market or maybe uh, you're doing you are busy doing something else the market won't uh, you won't incur any losses it will just eat your stop loss which is above uh below your sell or above your buys yeah moving with the stop loss so guys that's it for today uh if you had missed our live stream today i hope that you don't miss out next time so those who took this trade i hope that you're in profits today and i hope you're happy so till next time guys